it's my fault I missed it on the agenda, but we need to set a meeting for the comprehensive plan workshop. We need one more work session and then a hearing. So I would propose that we have at six o'clock Tuesday the 6th prior to our regular board meeting. It shouldn't take more than an hour to review the up. Got it down. You're, so that doesn't Out work. Out of town. Next month. Darn it. Um, Can we do it okay, on the 16th? Well, yeah. So let's schedule that for September 16th. Change of plan. Sorry about that. Okay. Monday. Or no, I don't know. Hold on. September? That's, that's oh, we September. can't do it. We can't do it in August. Well, I guess we could. No, we can't because we're already bumping that to 7.30. Let's do um, September 12th. Monday, September 12th. Got a thumbs up. Good done. Okay. Monday, September 12th at 7. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, and then following, just so that you understand, so the next, it will be a workshop, kind of like all the other ones. We'll run through the changes. Then immediate, not immediately following, but after that, we'll hold a hearing. And then it will be um, passed. Um, any other board discussion items? Okay, I'm going to open it up for citizens, general comments and questions. John Allen. Uh, John Kosky, uh, I want to give you a little bit of an update on where we're at with the ABV property. We're, we're, we're making good progress. We've got all the parties involved that we're going to get, get together and have a meeting with the Southwest Regional Office, the, the, the Evansburg Office of Bammer. You've got ABB's Council, uh, the environmental people and everything else. And uh, in talking with uh, Bureau of Abandoned Mines, you know, they have been well aware of this project as it, it had progressed a few years back and they still like to see this site get cleaned up with, with the funds that they have and they've recommended uh, to try to apply to get the pilot uh, a grant, which involves, you have to have a, a non-profit entity to sponsor the grant, to be a sub-recipient of a grant. The grant would go, it would be a pass-through grant, which would go to we would do the work on the site under the direction of the DEP. We would have a, a, a gateway and possibly another engineer involved to design the thing, but we're very confident that this could get moved through to be awarded in the early part of next year to, to help facilitate to get the project moving. And I would like to ask the board if they would sponsor the grant to be the subrecipient of the grant to, uh, to allow this to, to move for to move forward you know? yeah I mean I can't no, speak really... for everyone on the board but I'm more than happy to do that okay so because it, it we're gonna write it in the form of a resolution but because it wasn't on the agenda I'm gonna open yes. it up to public comment right. and then we'll where we will actually formally pass a resolution so that you can have something formal to provide to that write. we are doing okay. this um, before we open it up for a vote, what he's asking for is us to essentially be the sponsor or a pass through in or he, John Allen has purchased or is in the process of right. purchasing the ABB property. So he's taking full financial responsibility for it, but he's still applying for grants. This allows that property to be cleaned up with grant money, um, but allows the township to not have any, sorry, John, not any financial responsibility which is kind of an unknown john's right. it would be a, anytime you get a grant it goes to like we did one down in south Fayette township we did it to, to clean the orange creek up down there south Fayette township conservation group sponsored it along with the township it's you need a non-profit to be the sponsor of it to, to get the grant that's what i'm asking cecil times so from what i'm case. hearing and we'll take a formal vote from the board members in shaking of heads is that we are in in agreement that that would be a good thing to do. Does anybody have any comments that you'd like to step to the microphone? Make sure you vote to add it to the agenda too. And then, yeah. yeah. Okay, no public comment. So I wanna take a vote to add sponsoring the, to be a pastor or a sponsor of this grant for, for John Allen Kosky's company for the ABB property. So we're I'll adding second. it to the agenda right now. Do I have a motion? Second that. I'll, I'll move to add it to the agenda. Ron seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 So it's been added to the agenda. Now we're going to take a formal vote on the actual grant. So we're going to do the sponsorship of the grant. I'll make a motion to do that. Is there a second? I'll second it. Moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 
So it passes 5 0. Thank you. And thank, thank you, very you for much. taking and I'll, that I'll on. We'll keep the board informed as uh, we're progressing with this. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Just, just let us know what you need from us it, in terms of review. We're going to have a meeting tentatively scheduled from August the 24th. We're going to have it up here at Cecil. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any other citizens' comments or questions? Um, before we adjourn, we're going to go into executive session one more time. Cindy. We held an executive session just now for the purpose of, of appointments and obtaining legal advice. Since there's no other agenda items or issues before this board, this meeting is adjourned. Uh, no, you can have it. Good luck.